it's Friday the 16th of June 2017 and a bright new happy morning to you. An extra happy morning this morning because I can get my pink, my, my like, I don't know what colour that is actually. What colour is that? I can get my shirt back on again. I couldn't do this up around my stomach two weeks ago. Honestly, no word of a lie. Clothes are starting to fit again. I am so happy. Yes, I have missed. I must have lost even more weight than I have choosing. The clothes are starting to fit again. All the clothes that I haven't been able to do, because two weeks ago, I won't lie to you, two weeks ago, I was just getting ready to do a show. And I went in my cupboard and I put a shirt on. Oh, it's a bit tight. I'll try another one. And I, try, and I had trouble finding a shirt that would do up around my belly. Now they all do. I'm so happy. Can you see the glee in my face? We must be happy. We really must be happy. So I'm very, very pleased about that, boys and girls. Uh, good morning to some of the early people who are with us this morning. Look, you're, you're getting in early this morning. Good morning to Gustav, who says, Morning, lovey. I'm looking forward to the karaoke tonight and especially giving you a big double bum squeeze because he likes to squeeze my bum, Gustav, as I'm walking around. But for some reason, when he squeezes my bum, I, it, I find it ticklish. Not a pleasurable experience at all. You're wondering why there's a very large uh, spider plant there. There's a reason for that. It's coming, dear. Don't rush me. Don't rush me. Now, you're wondering why that's there. I will tell you why. It's very important. You will want to know why that's there. Don't go anywhere, OK? Uh, yes, he's going to give me a double bum squeeze. Every time I do it, I feel like a vet giving a cow an intimate examination. And I know you tingle, you said so. I do tingle, but not in a nice way, Gustav. Thank you very much. I don't know why that is. I tingled more when my window cleaner came in yesterday, Mark, and his, uh, and his um, what would you call it? Not apprentice, his, his, his work colleague. Okay, I was a bit rude. I don't know if I should tell you this. Oh, I don't know if this is suitable for this time of the morning. Do I tell you this or not? Oh, I don't know. Um, um, I don't know if it's, I really don't know if this is a suitable thing to say at this time of the morning. Uh, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Good morning to Mark. Morning, Mark Cording. Morning, sir. Uh, Diane Jeb said, good morning, Diane. Thank you for your lovely private little message yesterday, my darling. Very, very nice of you to send me that message. All right. Thank you very much, Diane. Good morning to, uh, Wendy. Morning, Wendy. Ah, Wendy's made a comment. Just a moment. No complaint from Wendy this morning. I know. <laughs> There's usually She's usually moaning about something, isn't she? But no complaint from Wendy this morning about me being late or anything like that. Um, and Wendy says, great idea for the Upload Radio Show. Now, you know, on Saturday, we within this show, we record another show for Upload Radio. And uh, I mentioned yesterday, well, one thing we're going to do on Upload Radio uh, Show tomorrow is talk about haunting TV themes. You know, those TV themes, not not like happy TV things like happy days. Monday, Tuesday, happy days. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, happy days. Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, Friday, Saturday, happy days. Where did Sunday come in then? Sunday, Monday, happy days. Tuesday, Wednesday, happy days. Thursday, Friday, happy days, Saturday, da 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 da, da. Not, not happy tunes, but like haunting tunes, as Wendy suggests here, like Black Beauty, boom, 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 ba, ba, boom, boom, ba, 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 boom, ba, ba, on London Weekend Television, that was on After Cat Weasel. Ba, 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 da, 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 da. He died, didn't he, Um, just a few weeks ago, Cat Weasel, do you remember him? Jeffrey Layden, I think. An excellent TV series. Available on DVD, incidentally. I've got the series on DVD downstairs, Cat Weasel. Along with loads of other TV series. Completely wrapped in cellophane and never opened. I've got about five or six complete series of Dallas. Right from the beginning. And they just sit... I've, I, I shouldn't buy DVDs because I never watch them. They remain in their cellophane wrapper. Not that you need them anymore. Don't need DVDs anymore, do you? It's just all available on YouTube. And oh, I've got something to tell you about Netflix as well later. Yes, I'll, t I'll tell you later. 
So, yes, uh, she says, like, Tony, the first one I thought of was Black Beauty. It is a stunning piece of music. That's what I mean by a haunting TV series, OK? A haunting TV series. And when do you used to have horses? <laughs> I think I remember giving an apple a horse. And you, you have to hold your hand like that, sort of bent backwards, don't you? Otherwise, there's a good chance they can nip your fingers. Well, I don't think they eat animals. Not like most of you. They don't eat dead animals. They just eat plants and apples. But when I saw these teeth come out from this horse, that act like I was eating the apple, I thought, that'd take a good old chunk out of your hand, wouldn't it? Huh? <laughs> Do be careful feeding the horses, everyone. Good morning to Kevin Webster. Craig's there. Good morning, Craig. Are you getting excited to go on your world cruise? Well, cruise of the Mediterranean is the same sort of thing. You just don't go as far. Still want a cruise? When people ask you where you're going on a holiday, you tell them you're going on a world cruise to various countries. Always make it sound as, as as better than it really is. You must do that. Yes, you must. Morning, Mary Wright. Cra cra karaoke queen of all of East of London is with us today. Mary Wright. She hosts many, many karaoke's. Um, good morning to Keith George in... I always think it's Torremolinos, and it's not, is it? Not Tanzania. Oh, God, what is that place you live? Somewhere on a rock somewhere, I know that. Uh, Gustav. <laughs> Hemorrhoid purple, no. Good morning to Joss, who's in a little place in Australia. Morning, Joss. How are we going? We're going very well here, Joss. Nice to see you. I hope you're still singing at various karaoke's. Huh? Are you? In Australia? He doesn't live in one of the big towns there. He uh, used to come to Belushi's in London Bridge, where I was. Oh, it's, it's a number of you surprising how quickly the years go, isn't it? Um, Alan Russell's with us. Good morning, Alan. Nephew Gary, Callum, Adam, the plumber. Pen is there. Oh, we're all there this morning. Michelle, Michelle Smith. She used to manage at Belushi's. We're all here today. We've got nothing to do. Come on. Get on with your jobs. Sitting there doing nothing, listening to me rabbit on about rubbish. Dear me. Just says, unsolved mysteries used to scare me when my parents watched it. Oh, did they really? What, the parents used to scare you? Did you have dodgy parents? <laughs> You'd be sitting there quietly trying to watch a horror film and suddenly mum and dad would jump from behind the counter. Boo! <laughs> Don't you just hate that? <laughs> morning to Mark. Good morning, Mark Coburn. Uh, let's have a look. We are very excited, but we have 10 months to wait. What, for your world cruise? Oh, it'll go past in a flash. So does that mean it's next year? We'll be going somewhere sort of next year warm in the winter. Good morning, uh, Ashley. Good morning, Ashley. Haven't seen you on here for a while. Where were you at the weekend? You didn't come to visit me. Most hurt. And those lovely little things that I whisper into your ear as I'm running around the pub. Don't I? Yes. Karaoke tonight, boys and girls, by the way. Uh, that's at 8.30, Central Station Bar, Wolfdale Road, King's Cross, every Friday, including tonight, karaoke at Central Station. Do join me uh, and the wonderful bar staff for that one. We've got lovely bar staff there at the moment, haven't we? We've got Alex and Connor and Guy and Mustafa. I think it's Mustafa. Uh, who, is that the black guy's name? I can't remember his name. Is it Mustafa? Must, it's something must, must something, isn't it? And he's so nice. Such a nice person. Uh, who else have we got there? Lots of others. Anyway. Morning to Stephen Lusher. Good morning, Stephen. Uh, happy Friday, old man. Uh, old? Old man? What, me? Yes. You forgot the other bit there. Old rich man. Do do it properly if you're going to do it, dear. All right. Now back off to your benefits, dear. Uh, Callum's with us. Good morning, Callum, who's coming to the karaoke show. Well, it's been a while, hasn't it, Car Car Callum? You might like the Camden Eye. Camden Eye, Sunday nights. Eight till eleven, that one. OK, um, let's have a look. Uh, April, they're going in April, are they? Really? OK. Oh, well, that's good because it'll be cold here then and it'll be warm there. Very, very nice. Uh, Ashley's going to Butlins in Bognor Regis. Oh, really? Are you going to stay in a chalet? I like a chalet. We like a little chalet, a Butlins chalet. Yes, indeed. Now, uh, you may have noticed if you keep an eye on my wall, I put a post up there this morning. And the post says, one moment, I'll refer to my notes that I made earlier. Uh, the post says, where is it now? Uh, you know those posts that start, I know that, I'm, I'm quoting here. You know those posts that start, I know that no one will copy and paste this post to highlight, insert something here. 
Now, that could be anything. Some sort of incurable disease. Uh, the fact that you like horses. It could be anything at all. And they say, and they're like sheep. People like sheep. They see it and then they copy it and repaste it because they can't think of anything to, uh, anything to say themselves. So they actually expect everyone is going to, please, uh, you know, I know no one will copy and, or, or it'd be something like, I know only two or three of my friends will copy and paste this to a ways to, to, uh, I can't get the words out, to, oh, what's the word? Not arise. It's not arise. A, a ra to raise, oh, that's it, to raise, uh, I know that only three or four of my friends will copy and post this to raise awareness of, uh, I don't know, the fact that EastEnders is on the telly tonight. Please copy and paste. So no one does. Why do you bother? Can't you think of anything intelligent? I mean, how thick are people on here? Every day that goes past, I look at my Facebook wall and I see more thick and stupid people arriving by the minute, dear. And there's nothing original on their walls. It's all copy and paste. It's, oh, oh I'll copy that. Oh, I'll copy that. Oh, let's put that on there and raise awareness of uh, Chris. Here's one for you. Why don't you copy and paste this show onto your wall to raise awareness of United Kingdom talk? And they do that all the time. So, please, can you think of anything original? I can only assume that a lot of these people are bored at work. Now, Duke, who is a regular correspondent and viewer to this programme, he works in a betting shop, seemed to spend most of his life in the betting shop, bored to tears. And he was moaning the other day, OK? So he's always on there, bored at work. Very bored at work. Extremely bored at work. And then the other day, he goes on there complaining that he's just had some abuse from a customer. Well, make up your mind, mate. That must have been exciting. Wasn't it? Wasn't it exciting when they possibly picked up an ash... Oh, they don't have ashtrays anymore. Did you, did you ever go into a betting shop? I've only been in one two or three times. <clears throat> um... I won 400 quid a few years ago on the Eurovision Song Contest, and I've probably put it all back in since. Yeah, I'm not in there, like, every week. I, I bet on the new Liberal Democrat leader to be Norman Lamb, and it wasn't. It was the other one. Oh, he stepped down, hasn't he, that bloke? I feel sorry for him. What's his name? Who's the Liberal bloke who's just stepped down? Because he's like a, a, a Christian... And uh, same as myself. And there were certain things that he didn't... I, I couldn't quite work out what was going on. I thought he was treated extremely unfairly. Extremely unfairly. Now, the Liberals, uh, as indeed all the parties, uh, uh, go along with gay marriage. But I think... I, I don't know if he said something or, or whether the news people just picked up on <coughs> some sort of Christian thing saying that they didn't didn't agree with gay marriage. And he was sitting there. And out of all the things going wrong in the world, you know, bombs going off here, this, that and the other going on there, they said, do you think gay marriage is a sin? And he didn't want to ans answer the question. He didn't want to answer it. But they went on. And, and quite honestly, I felt sorry for him. I really did. I think we're all allowed to have personal feelings, aren't we? Why, oh, why do these news people, these, these interviewers now, and they, they attack them badly. This never used to happen when I was a child. When you were watching the news, you interviewed someone nicely. Now, they're just horrible. They, they attack the interviewee. I, I'm not quite exactly sure what it was. You see, I think, like, like Theresa May, like Theresa May, OK? Now, she voted for Remain, didn't she? But we all voted Brexit, and she went back in there. And even though she voted Remain, she's like, well, the British people have said Brexit, so that's what will happen, you see? Just because of your personal feelings doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to go out and do your personal feelings type, type things. It's a bit like, um, let me think. <clears throat> it's a bit like me at work, right? Now, when I'm doing karaoke nights, 
I don't like this. This is this is this is similar. It's similar. When I'm doing karaoke nights, I do not like to have too many slow songs in a row. And you try and tell people, oh, yeah, yeah, but that's the song I want to do. That's the one song I want to do. And they don't think of everyone else in the room who's sick to death of listening to You're my hero <laughs> and I will always love you. They are bored and my way, my way. What on earth makes you think that everyone in the room wants to hear you sing my way at the end? No, they don't. They want to hear you sing something like Sex on Fire. Or Dancing Queen. Or We Didn't Start the Fire. Something like that. Something upbeat. They don't want to go home crying their eyes out. Number one, because the song is so awful. And number two, because you sang it badly. They don't want that. They want to hear a nice, upbeat song, sung either well or badly. Doesn't matter. But generally, if I do get a run of slow ones, I put them, I have to put them on anyway, because that's what the people want, you see. It's not what I want, but I see the, the larger picture. All these people sitting there, and you start singing another ballad. Don't let the sun go down on... And you can see their faces. Why don't you look at them when you're singing the bloody song? Something upbeat. Of course. Of course. We need ballads there. Here and there. But not a run of blooming two hours of the damn things. Similar to the similar similar to the to the liberal bloke who, who stepped down there. I think he was very unfairly treated for one thing in his head. So everything that you could possibly talk about: the environment, poor people, people with no housing. Um, I don't know, diesel cars on the roads killing everyone. Uh, Trident missiles. No, he was attacked for not saying gay sex is a sin. Or wasn't a sin. That's why they attacked. And that is pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. He was very, very unfairly treated, I think. And he shouldn't have stepped... Well, maybe he should have stepped down because he lost. Quite badly. But not for that reason, you know? Anyway, I think my money is on Norman Lamb this time. Because he was on this question time thing last night. And I quite like that. Question time with Mr. David Dimbleby. He's quite humorous, isn't he? I like that word, humorous. Do you like David Dimbleby? He can be. He seemed to be quite popular with the young people as well. He's very, very good, David Dimbleby. And Norman Lamb was on there last night, and he comes across as... Uh, he's an older bloke. I, I would imagine probably a bit older than me. I reckon he's about 56, around about 55, 56, just a touch older than me. And he comes across as a very nice man, don't you think? He does come across as that. Right, let's go back to some of your messages. Pouring in this morning, pouring in this morning. Um, Adam says, adding to your TV themes, Towers of the Unexpected. Dun, 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 dun. I'd not like that one. No, Adam, you've got to hold on to that tomorrow. Hold on to your love. You need to hold on tomorrow. We are going to do haunting TV themes, okay? Haunting TV things. Try and think of that tomorrow. I'd love you to ring in as well and have a few phone calls tomorrow as well. Uh, Ashley says, come and join us in Butlins. You might get a surprise. I'm sure I would. I'm sure I would. <laughs> Gustav says, can to my karaoke is fun, although Uncle Chris seems to trip an awful lot and finds himself in the lap of a young man. <laughs> There's something wrong with your eyes, Gustav. Don't treat everyone in the same mind as yourself, dear. Uh, thank you to those of you sharing the video on your walls this morning. Very kind of you to do so. Jonathan Aitken is there. Well, John Aitken, morning, guys and girls. Have a great weekend. It is beautiful today, isn't it? Beautiful. Callum avoids betting shops. Yeah, I don't go in. I mean, you see some blokes in here all the time. I remember uh, only just a few weeks ago, you go past a betting shop. You could barely see through the smoke in there. Oh, dear, they were, they were definitely a den of cancer, weren't they? Betting shops. <laughs> Wendy reckons betting shops give her the creeps. Do they really? Oh, thank you. 
How strange that is. Callum doesn't like depressing songs. He hates slow songs as well. Well, I mean, it's all right to have them now and again, Callum, but you get a run of them. And generally, it's the same person doing them. You know, I am always happy for people to put in three or four songs, but for Christ's sake, give at least two two reasonable tempo ones as well as your two ballads, which are depressing. And they're so depressing sometimes. There are slow songs that aren't depressing. Uh, for example, My Love, Westlife. Do you like that one? La la da 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 and I think listen is 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 quite undepressing as well. Undepressing. Is that a new word? Undepressing. You know that song, Listen, from Beyonce. Listen. I, da, 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 da. I quite like that one. Listen. Listen. Yes. Um, let's have a look. Uh, Caleb, you're digging for compliments there, D. I think you're digging for compliments, aren't you, lovey? Alan says, I only hate one song on karaoke. I won't let anyone sing American Pie. What a pile of old rubbish. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It is. Eh? Bye, bye. And they come up. The, Can I have the long version, please? Eight minutes long. Eight minutes long. And there are certain people who always, for some reason, seem to want to sing the longest song in the book. Have you noticed that? Blooming cheek. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. So, ah, yes. Now, the spider plants. Why is there a spider plant behind me? Now, you may remember last year we had the great spider plant giveaway. Well, we're ready to do it again, boys and girls. I have little baby spider plants ready to give away. I did some a few weeks ago. And they're in the garden and they've kind of taken a bit more of a hold now. And I did some as well yesterday, which kind of haven't quite taken hold, but they are ready to go. So if you would like a spider plant free of charge from myself, these are now available. Do let me know on a private message, OK? Don't put it on here because I shall lose it. If you put it on here and you turn up at the pub and say, oh, I put the message on there. No, I told you now. You've missed it. If you would like a spider plant, then let me know on a private message and where you are going to be at one of the venues that I do. Either at Central Station tonight on Monday, Central Station tomorrow night, or the Camden Eye on Sunday. OK, one of those places or indeed uh, the King's Head Theatre Bar on Wednesday. Where are you going to be? If you want a spider plant, let me know which one of those you're going to be at, and I shall bring one down for you. I haven't got any plastic bags, OK? They will come in a pot. You will need to bring your own little bag. We can't be giving away carrier bags, dear. We can't nick them anymore, can we? Oh, they're 5p. Have you seen them at the checkout? Oh, oh, 5p. No, so they carry the whole lot and drop their cartons of yoghurt all over Waitrose car park. All those people going in Waitrose, you know, full of money. Oh, 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 oh no, can't spend five pence. Can't spend five pence on the carrier bag. So spider plants are now available, OK? Let me know if you want one. Good morning to Dino, who uh, joins us this morning. Are carrier bags 10p now? Where are you going then, Alan? Ah, you must be getting the bag for lifes, aren't you? The ones that they keep changing like that. Yes, that'll be what's happening there. Uh, don't know, Callum. Have a look on the internet. Um, Adam wants a spider plant. Yes, you want one? Are you coming tonight, Adam? But you didn't send a private message, so I'm going to ignore that. I did say private messages. Yes. Mary says the worst singers seem to sing the longest songs. Yes. What's the other one? There's a meatloaf one, isn't there? That seems to go on for about 15 minutes. Oh, dear. Bye-bye, Ashley. Have a lovely weekend, sir. Terry's with us up in, up in Coventry. Good morning, Ter Terry. Or are you on a, yet another holiday? See that bloke there, Terry? Terry Limo has just joined us there, right? He manages a nightclub up in Coventry, and he's on holiday like eight times a year for four weeks a time. Honestly, he does. All that money, dear. Bat out of hell. Thank you, Alan. That's the long meatloaf one, isn't it? It goes on and on and on. It's too much. And Paradise by the Dashboard Light. There's another one. Dear me. Right, so we've done spider plants and that. Um, let me have a look. So yesterday, uh, I did some of my computer uh, updates. You may have noticed Windows might ask us to start doing an update 
Okay. Uh, I did two last night, one on the main computer up here and uh, the other one on my laptop. Now, be warned. Okay, be warned. This is another one of those long updates. Now, I got caught out with one of these about nine months ago when I was doing the karaoke at uh, the Golden Lion in Camden. I'm no longer there. My friend Ben Parker does that one now. Uh, but I was doing it there. And um, it says, uh, computer update, ready to install, install now. And I looked at the clock and it was like half past eight. And I thought, okay, install now, install now. Well, it was a really long one and it didn't finish updating until 10 o'clock. Eventually, I had to get a spare laptop out and uh, do the karaoke night on that. It was a complete and utter disaster. That was the last time I was there, actually. I, I left after that. <laughs> it's such a disaster that night. <laughs> In fact, it was the worst disaster I've ever had DJing or karaoke ever. It just went completely wrong the whole night. <laughs> Oh, if only you'd have been there. There were some people, there's a couple of people on there now who who were there. Adam was there. Uh, so be very warned. If you're, if you're about to do something important, like a karaoke night or you're at work or something, and it asks you if you want to do a window update, don't do it. Take, do your night, finish your night, close the laptop, take it home and do it there. Last night's update, I would say half an hour to 45 minutes it took on the laptop, uh, much quicker on my desktop. So be warned on that one. There's another uh, Windows update uh, uh, thingy coming. The Golden Lion fiasco. That's what we're. That's what that night will be known as. I should keep that in a diary and have sort of, you know, like like an annual event for this one, I think. Like, like we have for Guy Fawkes night and that sort of thing. <laughs> Oh, dear. No, it was, I don't think it was, Callum. That wasn't the first time you was at the Golden Lion. I don't think it was that night when it all went wrong. I don't remember you being there that night. That wasn't that night. No, it, it, it was It was terrible. Oh, it was terrible. And then there was a big fight at the end. Jim... <laughs> oh, well, well. Never mind. Never mind. Um, <clears throat> good. So that's that. Uh, I, I've noticed... I've noticed quite unexpectedly that I haven't been opening the phone lines. Have you noticed that? Now, <laughs> I'll open them. There you go. All right. If you want to call in, that's fine. There's the phone. I'm not happy with that font. It's a bit iffy, isn't it? Just a minute. Let me. It looks like almost blurred, doesn't it? Select font. Now, what have I done there? Let's try. Should we try a medium? Let's try a medium. See if that's any better. Is that better? Does that look better? No, not really, does it? Um, we can. Ch I can change the font you see on there. Let's try. Let's take it off bold. Let's try that. That look any different to you? How does that look now? Is that better? I think so. There we are. That's a little bit better, isn't it? So there we are. The phone lines are open. If you want to call in at any point, anything we're chatting about. Or indeed anything else at all this morning, you are welcome to call in 020 3477 local London number. Or you can Skype in on United Kingdom Talk. Oh, Keith's calling in straight away. Good morning, Keith. How are you? Now, where are you again? I'm, I'm in Tenerife. Tenerife, yeah. thank you. I'm sorry, Keith. I don't know why I can never remember that word, Tenerife. I know, and I've been watching you this morning and you've had a bit of brain freeze with raising awareness. Raising awareness. You couldn't get it out, could you? You couldn't get the words out. Raising awareness. No, that happens all the time to me, Keith. You will find that as you get older. I mean, how old are you? Must be about four, what are you now, 46? You know what the words I have trouble saying? Yes. Economy. What one? Economy. I can't say economy. Economy? Oh, no, I don't like yeah. that word either. No, no I don't know. Economy. In fact, I've written to Waitrose asking them to remove their Waitrose Essentials range. It's bringing poor people oh. into the shop. It's awful. They come in there in tracksuits and dirty footmarks all over the blooming road. Dreadful. I think people should bring in a spare pair of shoes when they go to Waitrose so as not to dirty the floor. I think there should be a dress code for Marks and Spencer's. I do as well. Yeah, we're getting a Marks and Spencers in Bracknell. Yes. Oh, we've got one. We've got one. What in Tenerife? Oh no, not in Tenerife. We've got one in Battersea, in my hometown. Battersea. Oh yes, yeah. that's the yeah. Labour-controlled council, isn't it? Huh? 
That's the labour area now. It's a labour area now, isn't oh, it, it Battersea? Battersea oh, went to dear, labor. dear me. I'm going back tonight. I'm flying back tonight and I'm going to lay a reef. A reef? What, outside the yeah. town hall? <laughs> outside, outside the town hall. <laughs> do, you know where I, do, you know, do you remember where my 30th birthday party? Happy birthday. That was a few years ago now. What is that, 20? 20 years ago? No, no, dear. Oh, isn't it? 15 and a half. 15, 15 and a half. And a half. Are you 45 and a half years old now? Isn't it funny? I, am, you go, I was you exactly going, 45 and a half, dear. Going on about those half years. I thought it was only children that done. Don't you? I'm five. Five years and two weeks old. I'm five years yeah. and six weeks old. Here I am, closer to 60 than I was 40 now. No, hang on. Well, no, I'm not. Well, officially, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. officially, I'm closer to 46 than I am 45 now. So you're now closer to 50 I'm, than 40. I'm in my mid-40s. God, that is so old, isn't it? No. <laughs> there's people, listen, mate, there's people that I see in their late 20s, early 30s, Looking rough as anything, oh, and you know they've not been talking about it. Tell, and it's, it's very not... important. I think it's very important for the man now. I mean, don't get me wrong; they call it, um, you know, the men, the men self grooming, wouldn't it? Self grooming, yes, yes. Yeah, men grooming beauty. They call it the, when the women do their beauty regimes, but they call the men's thing. It's called grooming. Yes, and but fortunately, I've yet to see a man putting on makeup or lipstick on the mirror while they're driving along the motorway at 80 mile an hour like some of these people, like some of these girls. Well, Have you well, seen them? Um, so, well, I don't want to mention any names. Oh. But I've, I've known of some acts <laughs> that do that and also the sh that have no shame getting on public transport and get putting the makeup on. No. To work. What, on trains yes. and buses? Yeah, trains and buses. Dear. Do you have Do you have any trains yeah, is, on? Ten, uh, do you have any trains on Tenerife? Is that a train free place? Train free island. Oh, no you trains. don't have any trains there. You know no. what I think you should have, Keith. Well, we have a, <coughs> have we've got a wally trolley. Have you a what? A wally trolley. You know the train that goes around on wheels and people pay nine euros to look stupid sitting on it as it goes through the town and all that. <laughs> oh, here comes the wally trolley. The wally trolley. Oh, it's not yeah. a proper train, though, is it? With rails. You know what I think no. you should get, Keith? Where you live, what? so... <coughs> yeah. <coughs> from your flat, have you seen these garden railways where they are like small trains and you yeah. kind of cock your leg over it and you sit on it like that and it's between your legs? Have you seen those? Yeah. Yeah? That, that, yes, they I get up. Yes. You get them at some seasides and place like that. I think you Got should it. install one of those to your various places because Keith, uh, who's on the phone at the moment, he's an entertainer on the island of Tenerife. He does all the hotels and all that. You could have one of those and then have little rails to your various places that you work. Well, I think that's an excellent idea. That would be an excellent idea. And I can have a few carriages as well and charge people to come with me. Yeah. Yeah, little tours, and you'd look so much better, so much better on one of those than a wally trolley. Well, I, I don't do the wally trolley or, you know, whatever. But um, what's interesting, which is which is I find very interesting in that, um, as being self-employed as you are as well, um, they seen these these other acts, no names mentioned, you know, putting the makeup on and going on the buses with the makeup on and everything like that, and actually posting it on Facebook. What they don't realise is, is that if you do that, and then you try and claim that money from for self for expenses for work purposes, they will knock you back because you're supposed to like you know your outfits. You're not supposed to wear any of your outfits, gigs, or unless you're at the stage or whatever. And um, because a few years back, I don't know if you remember, but um, I did get investigated. Oh, will you investigate? Is that internally? I was investigated. Um, I, unfortunately, it wasn't internal, or, oh. or fortunately, it wasn't internally. But um, I was investigated because um, of one year I had a tax bill, and um, it was, well, it was two pounds. The bill was <laughs> two pounds. And it was two pounds, and the thing was, I I went to New York, and I went to for an audition. Mm. Yes, and um, I had to get, get 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 back and do a gig in Leeds, and the only way I could get back on the Sunday in time was to fly Concord. So I flew Concord back to London, what? and then connected. 
onto a BMI baby flight to Leeds. Right. So we put that through, and then I investigated for that. So, but my my um, accountant at the time, well, I've still got him actually, said, you cannot tell my client in what uh, class to travel. Oh, is that right? So we can all go business yeah. class everywhere? Yeah, you can. it's up to you oh. where you want to travel. Anyway, when they were investigating me, the lady was saying to me, oh, I've seen some of your outfits and they look, they look fabulous and whatever. Do you ever, do you ever, um, you know, like go, go to the car, in the car already dressed up and everything like that? And I said, no, I, I, I don't. And she said, um, okay, that's great. She said, because if you were to do that, then all your outfits and all your makeup would, would not be taken into account. Oh, that's so interesting. I, said, well, I didn't know that. I didn't yeah, know that. So, yeah. So, um, and then she said to me, um, do you use your car for shopping? And I said, no. And she, she sort of laughed. And I said, she said, really? I went, yeah. I said, and at the time, Google Earth had just come out. Right. Remember Google Earth? Just come out. So I said, you, are you by a computer? She said, yeah. I said, have you got Google Earth? She went, yeah. I said, right, put in my postcode. And she did. And then I said, now zoom out. And she zoomed out, I think, three times because I lived literally two roads from the um, shopping centre. Oh, all right, yes. So I said, well, yeah, and the high street with boots, the chemist <laughs> and all the love. You know, the, I said, so there you are. I said, literally, it's, it's, it's a one-minute walk. She said, oh, OK. She said, well... Um, it's very unusual to, to see someone that, you know, because some people do try. I said, I'm a law-abiding citizen, dear. I said, and as you know, I've got rental incomes coming in, so I want to do the right thing. I, I, thought, said, so for the, I thought you was going to say that she zoomed <laughs> out uh, and she, uh, so there you go. See, I'm wearing tatty old clothes or something like that, or you're <laughs> walking around in your underwear to the supermarket and that sort of thing. Do you know well, what? I, it, don't it, use, yeah. I don't use my car to go to the shops. I've got a, I've got a bicycle. I never use the yeah, car exactly. to go to the shops. Yeah. Well, that's it. I had a bike as well. I had a moped as well. Uh, right. The moped I didn't put through for anything. Um, I, I got the moped and I used that for, um, uh, well, just on a Tuesday, I only used that moped, yes. to be honest with you. Um, only on a Tuesday. <laughs> only on then, a Tuesday. Um, <laughs> yeah, because I, I, oh, I wouldn't feel safe every Tuesday when I live in Elstree. I wouldn't feel and safe on it, one of those mopeds or motorbikes. I've never been on one. Do you know that? Never been on a motorbike. You're not. Frightens me. Well, I used to ride it on a Tuesday and um, to go and see my mum. It used to take, uh, if I was in a car, sometimes two hours to get from Elstree, you know, yes. up the A1 or whatever. So, But with the moped, I could do it in 45 to 50 minutes. Yeah. You see, so wow. um, that was that, that was that was all right. But um, yes, I've been listening to your to your thing, and I've, um, I've do you ever watch that um, horrible program, the Jeremy Kyle show? Oh no, I don't. That's why I'm up here. I come up yeah, here I so don't I don't like have it. to watch that. I, I'm glad you're on. I'm glad you're on at this time of the, of the day because um, I do, I do like to get up, I get up in the morning every morning at 7 a.m. Ah, oh, now Regar I want... I'm rega gonna... Regardless of where I've been the night before. I was going to say that to you. I've started, because my latest night is now 12 o'clock. That's the latest yeah. night. So my my times now are like 11.30, 10.30, 11 or 12. They're the times mm. I finish. And I find myself now going to bed earlier, little about 1.15. I'm getting up now at half past seven, eight o'clock. Yeah. And I feel great. I think it's fantastic that because it's the best, <clears throat> the best time of the day in my book is between four a.m. and about eight a.m. That is the best time of day. It's so quiet and fresh and yeah, peaceful, cool. yeah. uh, and I'm not getting up at that time, obviously. But I, I've, I've, I've a couple of mornings I've been getting up at half seven. It's wonderful. Yeah, and uh, and also as well, um, I, I like to put the like the news on first thing in the morning. Oh, yes, and I always yes, put the news yes. on as well. When I come in from, from work, I put the news on and sit down and have some water and then I sort of catch up with the news and then and then go to bed. And when I get up in the morning, I, the first thing I put on is the news again. Me too. I like to keep up, up to date with keep current affairs. fully updated with the current affairs that are going on in this world. Has North Korea yeah. sent over a missile yet? Is there anything coming towards us? Keep, nothing towards me at the moment. Nothing. Nothing. But, um, nothing towards me at the moment, but... Um, I was listening on the radio today, and I actually thought of this myself about. I'm um, sorry, not on the radio, on the television. They're, they're doing. They're going to do a charity single for the uh, victims of the disastrous. Oh, Simon Cow, yes, Simon Cow thing, yeah. yeah. Yeah, 
I thought about I thought about that, and I thought of, uh, uh, they're doing one with all, all celebrities, and I thought about doing one. It's going to be interesting to see what celebrities are doing it, you or, know, or non-celebrities, as the case may be. Yeah, because I thought of maybe doing one with you know with tribute artists as well. Oh yes, yeah, something similar, you know. Would it be like um, a, a new song or a cover? I think it's going to be a cover. I think that um, uh, they're talking about David Bowie's Heroes. Okay, which be quite yeah. Nice. Yeah. I mean, and also as well, looking at those pictures of um, the firemen, mm. you know, and the ambulance service and the This is, of course, the, fu- the the Tower Block fire in um, yeah. in Kensington you're talking about that happened yeah. this week. And, you know, it? it really puts you in, in, you know, it shows for what it is. Mm. You've got these real heroes and these oh, and yes. the young. <clears throat> look at these heroes, these people and say, I want to be like that. Not like Wayne Rooney. Oh. Not like David Beckham. Who, who's that? Who's that? Those- Who's that rap artist? He's dread. He thinks he's God's gift. What's his name? Kane West. Oh, Kanye, Kanye West. Is, was it? Kanye. Kanye. That's Kanye West. Kanye yeah. West. And, he dre- and people want to be like that. They want to be like that or they want to be like Rihanna. I'll tell you what I hate. What I really hate is when you get little girls, five, six, seven years old, and they want to dress and look like Beyonce or Rihanna. Mm. And it's just, I think it's, it's just awful. Let them be children for a while, for God's sake. It's too much of yeah. this soft board on the telly. There really is. I mean, you're, you're probably watching this show at the moment. Some people are look, looking at this programme at the moment and thinking that this is a soft porn show, don't you think? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, go on about your, your, your tribute, your heroes. Seems a good one. I tell you what, it, what amazes me, you know, you see all these firemen get out, get mm. out of the building, and what do they do? They run in. They run in to exactly. try and save someone. Exactly, that's what I'm that, saying. That this, that is, this is what they, when, when I was younger, you know. When I was that's a long school, time ago, wasn't you it? You grow now? up, yes. what, look, yeah, but not as long as you. <laughs> um, uh, when we were younger, when we wanted, when we said, what are you going to be when you grow up? Policeman, yeah, yeah, fireman, yeah, yeah. doctor, nurse, train driver, train driver, teacher, train driver, train driver, bus driver, yeah, not footballer because footballers in those days weren't getting the money that they're being paid now. Well, I think that, it's, that's you know, right. wrong. That's right. That's I think right. It's wrong, and and you know, with with um, these the, the, the firemen and the, and 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 the, and the services that we need in in in, in the United Kingdom. And that they should be given uh, more money, uh, uh, you know, for their jobs. They they really should be. But it's always been, for as long as I well, I tell you one instance, Chris. I start as you know, I started working for Wands of Council when I was seventeen. Yes. Yeah. And 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 my first year of being there. So when we got to April to the new financial year, we was offered a twelve percent pay rise. And. The unions didn't accept it and called us called a strike. Twelve percent, twelve percent, and they turned that down. They turned it down, and you know, and they called a strike. I didn't go on strike. Greedy, you know, greedy, but, dear. Oh, were you a greedy. scab? Well, were you a course, scab? So then, so they, so then they, so then there's been all there's been all these years of twelve percent, this percent, that percent, big percentages, and everything like that, you know. And eventually, I mean, we spoke about this a little bit the other day. If you if you have a pot of money over thirty years and you keep giving lots of that money away and getting nothing back, your pot's going to be empty. Yeah, exactly. And that's that's presumably why you never spend anything on when you're taking someone out, is it? That's right. <laughs> well, and not only that, Keith, Keith, are, 10, are you people pay for me? Are you one of those people? And and I think I'm one. And it, it was just brought up to me the other day, actually, by my mate. Um, he was talking to, to someone about me and said, well, Chris has a, actually doesn't need anyone. You know, he can get on with all his stuff and do everything he wants. He doesn't actually need anyone, like, permanent in his life. And, you know, I thought about that. <clears throat> and I think he's right. I don't. Are you one of those people as well? I think you are as well, aren't you? You, do, do, well, you find, no, uh, you know, do you I, find? Do you find? Know, I think what they think it's saying is that we're, you know, we're financially. financially no, 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 no. I don't. But, nothing to do with the finance. Nothing to do with the finance. I mean, when when there is, and I know you've had various people in your life. Um, when you have someone in your life, do you not find yeah. they get in a bit of a way of what you want to do all the time? What do you mean, like a boyfriend? Yes. 
Well, no. Um, some of them, you know, because it's, I think that what's happened is with me, over the years, I've become very selfish. And looking back at some of the things I've done, you know, to ex-boyfriends or whatever, I don't mean... I mean, I would come in one night and say, I'm going on holiday, and I'd book a 10-week holiday. I'd not discuss it with my boyfriend. Poor Tom. Do you remember Tom? Tom. Tom used to... Oh, Tom who wore, Tom. wore the jeans three sizes too small for him. Is that the one? <laughs> That's Tom. That's Tom, yeah. <laughs> I remember that, yes. Tom's doing very well, by the way. What's he um, doing now? We've been... He's uh, doing very well. He's in IT and he's very doing really, really IT? well. IT? What country is that, darling? IT? You said he's in IT. In, is that in Australia? Is it, um, no, it's um, it's a computer, isn't it? It's computer programming or oh, something it? like that. Oh, wires. He does yeah. wires. Wires. Um, got... He does that. I think he's... Um, I'm not sure. I, 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 I'm not exactly sure. But I know he, he, he's... He, he went for a bad time. His dad died suddenly and he, he sort of went oh, off the rails. Oh, I remember that, and, yes. I remember now. that. Yeah, and um, yeah. it's fine. And we, we chatted actually um, this year for the first time in a long time. And um, right. he's doing okay. He's doing well. So, but I used to come home sometimes, you know, and just book holidays and not discuss it with him. And we had a house together, a dog together, a life together. And he said, Don't you think you should discuss it with me? And I said, No. And I was, I, I, I realized selfish. that. That was selfish. Wrong. Selfish you are. I selfish, Keith. It's selfish. Very selfish. selfish. But, you know, you know, recently I've been going on some dates. Oh, have you? Been, been, what, you found someone yeah. that still fancies you? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Have you? No. Oh, well, there you are. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I've been going on dates and um, I've seen, you know, one of the people, one of the persons quite a few times. And I, I, I think they compliment me in a way that... that um, well, what, what, what do you mean compliment you? They say, oh, your hair's nice that, today or... No, 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 not no? that. No, I think that they, you know, there's um, they. I've always been such such a giver to my friends and, and family and all that, and just recently I've, had, I've been through a little bit of uh, tough times with, with with that, and you, I've really seen who your friends are. Do you know what I mean? In 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 a situation like that, and um, but it's just nice to be going out. Oh, can I take you? Oh, can I drive the car? Or you know, I'll drive the car. Like sharing. That's what I mean. Sharing. I think sharing. And um. Yeah, and said, "Well, oh, can I take you for dinner, or you know, um, you know, oh. or a cook for you, things like that." It's nice. So, um, no, I can stand, and I don't need anyone. I like sleeping on my own. Um, but then again, I like, I like, I, I liked getting back into that sort of dating thing and right, a bit of romance, okay. and you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But oh, no, I know. I know. Be, but you know, I mean, Chris. I... You know, Chris. As we've discussed this before, we've been very lonely. Yes. Very lonely in the past. So, but I think you know, you, uh, I think eventually you get so used to that it becomes part of what part of you. I mean, I couldn't do half think, the stuff I do if I had someone in my life. I would, certainly wouldn't be sitting here every morning. Well, you're depending because they might be at work. So, like, yeah. they might or, have a, a, or, a nine to five job. So you I, could carry on with your day as you wanted. I could get on so with you, my show, and while I'm doing this, send them downstairs to cook me a nice breakfast. Why not? I like the sound that of that. For you. Yeah, I like the sound of that. And get them to clear up after the cat. <clears throat> That's it. So That's I wouldn't have to do it myself. But wouldn't that, that would be more of a slave than a boyfriend, don't you think? Well, Although, really, so, yeah, listen, you know. listen you, you were talking about football earlier, right? Yeah. Now, there is someone on the football field that I quite like, and he's look might, yeah. might be coming here. Chris, in this morning's super sore away, son, Cristiano Ronaldo, poor wants to leave Spain and decision is irreversible with Manchester United, PSG, I don't know where that is, and Chinese Super League potential destination. He could be coming here. Do you think That'd he would nice. notice if I kept going to the football matches and waving at him? Would he notice? But ain't he Portuguese? Yes. He is Portuguese, but he plays for Spain. Oh, I don't mind going out with a foreigner, love. Oh. Is that a... Okay to say that on this program? Well, I, I don't mind so. going yeah, out with I mean, a foreigner. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know if you, if it, it should matter where if someone where it comes from, you know. Um, well, that's what because, that's what I'm saying you know, to you. I, I don't you mind going well, out with a foreigner. You, that's what I just said. I know you very well. Yes. And I think you've got more Caribbean in you than Diane Abbott has. <laughs> And on that note, we should leave the call. Thank you, Keith. <laughs> Bye-bye.
<laughs> oh, dear. Some messages coming in. PSG apparently is in France. Thank you, Alan. You're a football man, aren't you? Good morning to... Good morning, Paul Stone, who's joining us this morning. Edvaldo. Good morning, Edvaldo. Hope you're well, sir. Alan Russell says, I loved watching... I watched Love Island last night. Some fit ones on there. Yeah, nice to look at. Dreadful in their heads. Ghastly people. Love Island. If you want something to look at and you're happy with them not opening their mouths, sit one of them next to you. <laughs> Um, uh, my mum D wants to come to your karaoke one night. Yeah, bring her along, Callum. Bring her along. Let's have a look. Uh, I've got yes, I've got Tuesday or Thursday free at the moment. If we get any jobs in, uh, not necessarily. I'll I'll do them though. You know, they, I have to want to do something now. I don't have to do. Um, I don't have to take uh, uh, anything. But uh, yeah, it'd be quite nice to go up there, wouldn't it? Uh, has there ever been a punch up apart from the one in the Golden Lion? Yes. Years ago, um, um, I'm going back 20, 20, about 31 years ago in a place called The Telegraph. The Telegraph pub in Putney. And um, I think someone had picked someone's drink up. And it, this pub was packed. I built it up for nothing. It was packed for soul night. I was doing soul music in there. And uh, suddenly it all kicked off. There were tables and chairs flying and everything. And interestingly enough, people from both sides coming over and saying, it's OK, DJ, you're not involved in this. Just stay where you are. Nothing will happen to you. And nothing did. You know, the equipment was all still there. The pub, though, they didn't ask me back. <laughs> not my fault, was it? Wasn't my fault. That's all right, Callum. You save up, my friend, OK? You save up. Come when you're ready, all right? Well, I'm going to do today's birthdays and then we must go, boys and girls, because it's time to do things. Going to do things in my day as well. Uh, happy birthday today to Matt Horgan Unique, DJ Man Matt. Greetings, Matt. I haven't seen you for ages. Happy birthday to you, Matt. Happy birthday to Carl Kundalini Reese. Love that name in the middle there. That's a long name. Happy birthday, Carl. To Jenny Boynes. Birthday girl. Marcus Kirkby Bott is 42 years old today. Kerry Edmonds is 38 years old today. Ed Churi Maruko is, uh, it doesn't say your name there. Happy birthday to you, Ed. Brent Adams. Brent Adams from Norfolk Island in the South Pacific. I think you're over here somewhere, aren't you, Brent? Happy birthday, Brent. Look at me, still doing this show. Still sitting here in this tiny little room talking to myself for an hour a day. How strange am I? Strange. And mysterious. Yes, indeed. Anne White. Happy birthday, Anne. 64 today, darling. Happy birthday. And Alicia. Paul Moses is 36 years old today, OK? So there are the birthdays. Let's sing to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Birthday time for this, and you've got a nice day for your birthdays as well, haven't you? Look at it out there today. I think I saw someone's getting married tomorrow as well. There he is, uh, Craig D. Wright, who I've known, I've never met him. I've known him from the internet now for about 10 years. Um, I think... We started talking when I was doing an internet music and chat show on CMP Radio up about 12 years ago now it was. And he's getting, looks like he's getting married tomorrow. Um, do I see the message somewhere? I thought he sent me a message. Um, let's see if I can find the message. He's marrying. Don't know who you're marrying. Does it say? Let's let's see if I can find the message you sent me. I think you put it on the wall. It's always a bit dodgy if you put it on the wall. I might lose it. There he is. Craig D, don't forget to mention my wedding tomorrow. Yeah, he's getting married tomorrow. And he's in Bridgeport in Wales, if I've got that right. So good luck for tomorrow, Craig. Uh, I'm sure you'll have a wonderful time, right? Uh, you've grown from little boy, young man to man now. So that's fantastic. Good luck to you tomorrow, Craig. It's so wonderful to see um, young people that I've been talking to on the internet for years and years, some who have watched this show or some who've listened to my radio stuff in the past, and we kind of keep contact with some of them. 
and see them getting on like that, whether it's personal lives or um, or work-wise, people who have got jobs. There's certainly lots of people on here who wanted to be DJs and wasn't getting anywhere, and there's a few of those. And I've gone on and, you know, keep going, just keep doing it, and something will come up, and it always does. If you believe in yourself and you're quite good at what you do, something will happen. Not in my case, I'm still sitting in this... <laughs> I'm still sitting in this spare bedroom instead of a TV studio. But you never know. We must keep going, boys and girls. Or a radio station. <laughs> it don't happen for me. <clears throat> Dare I go on there telling you, you know, if you like, if you fancy someone, you must go for it. Do I do that myself? No. <laughs> so all the advice I'm giving you, it will work for you. Just not me for some reason. But I'm happy enough sitting there. Anyway, I must go, boys and girls. Oh, Alan won £520 in a week in the betting shop and donated £50 to the Tower Block Fire Club. Well, good on you, Alan. Good on you. Are you along tonight or what? Callum says, stay on for another two hours. I, I would. I w Is there a call coming in? Could you pick up cow? Are you serious? You want me to go to Nottingham? That's like a five-hour round trip. Are you serious? I don't think so. <laughs> right, so if you want a spider plant and you're coming along to any of my venues during the next couple of weeks, send me a private message. There'll be a load of spider plants uh, waiting for you. You just need to tell me where you're going to be. All right. Um, I think that's it today. Was I going to tell you anything else? I did have a load of news stories here, but um, no, no, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll wrap up there because I've got to go into town. And uh, go swimming as well and have my uh, my my rice risotto that I made. I was going to tell you about that. No, I'll, I'll tell you about that tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, of course, we record our upload radio show. Be sometime between 10 and 12 o'clock where we go to where we start recording that. OK, so do join us again uh, tomorrow morning here on Facebook Live. Uh, tonight, it's Friday night. So do join us at Central Station in Wharfdale Road, King's Cross, for the karaoke tonight, every Friday, 8.30 to midnight. It's free entry. It gets busy. If you want to sing, you need to be there by about 10.30, 10.45. By then, the list is full up. OK, you need to get there early. Some people are now getting there at like um quarter to eight, eight o'clock, just to get a table. OK, it does get very busy there. So do join us tonight. Karaoke each and every Friday at Central Station on Wharfdale Road, King's Cross, 8.30 until midnight. Uh, enjoy the sunshine today. Thank you very, very much uh, for watching the show. And again, thank you for those of you that uh, shared the video to your wall. Don't forget, once I go, it stays up there kind of permanently as a, as a recording. All right. So I'll see you very soon. Tomorrow morning, in fact. Cheerio now.